The support to the development of human resources is a capacity building project implemented by Enable within the framework of the governmental cooperation between the Republic of Uganda and the Kingdom of Belgium. The SDHR supports a total of 49 beneficiary organizations within three public sectors with a budget of over 6 million euro implemented over a six-year period. The project is aimed at improving organizational performance and eventually improved service delivery in beneficiary organizations. One of the success factors in its implementation was the use of the three-phased integrated capacity development model. Like the gears in an engine, each phase supported the next by providing actionable solutions that ensured sustainability within the beneficiary organizations. Each phase presents us with key learning points. In phase one, focus was placed on preparing the organizations for change. By preparing them to embrace new work systems, we learned that special attention was needed in four main areas. One, ownership of the process should be established by encouraging organizations to draft their own assessments and decide their own areas of improvement. Two, a proactive approach is required for sustainable development goals themes like gender, HIV AIDS, environment and children's rights because the beneficiary organizations did not integrate the themes in their training plans. Three, the need for ICT skills due to the vast skills gap observed during the application stage. And four, General training needs assessment is a must-do that provides the rationale for training projects. In Phase 2, beneficiary organizations were encouraged to 1. Plan 2. Budget 3. Choose different training modalities and 4. Provide their staff with a working environment that could foster learning and development. To achieve this, we learned that certain preconditions were necessary as provision of relevant equipment to support delivery of a quality training and apply the learning, training facilities and a training budget within the beneficiary organization's general budget. In phase three, the beneficiary organizations implemented their human resource development and training plans and transfer of learning. This phase has three main steps training implementation, which implies design development and delivery of training content. Action planning, where the trainees commit to implement what was learned during the training. And post-training support, to implement the action points committed during the training. Some of the key lessons learned during this phase are Defining the terms of reference for the training activities helps to tailor the training to the identified needs. Framework contracting for trainers and service providers. Do not underestimate the workload that comes with procurement and contract management. Monitoring and evaluation functions should be planned for from the start of the project plan and budget for post-training support at the start of the project.